I'm Abdullah, I'm 38, a podiatrist, a British born, British bred, a convert to Islam. I converted to Islam after, um, after a lot of thinking. We all have our own innate way that we've, when we feel right, when we feel something is right, we know it's right. If something's wrong, you know it's wrong. And if you keep uh, finding a source of uh, something that's right, then you start to you know, wonder where does this come from. I went to the, the Mosque at Regents Park in, in London and said to the uh, met Imam there and said to him, I want to become Muslim. I said, I don't believe in God. I don't even know what that is, um, but I want to be a Muslim. Because you know, I knew that the guidance in there, the, the, what they were telling you, is just completely uh, consistent with how I felt already. Um, it's just I didn't know how to put it into the words that I'm, I found it uh, in Islam. And, uh, and he, he said, no, you know, I have to become, uh, I have to actually believe in God to be a Muslim, which you know, uh, was sort of fair enough. Um, and it, it took another two years. It took another two years before I actually... Um, before I actually knew what faith was, you know. I mean, I was brought up by atheists in an atheist society, and uh, you know, it just I didn't know what it was. Would I even recognise it if I had it? Um, and uh, and yeah, another two years of, of kind of, of pondering that before I before I actually uh, came to understand that I did already have it. Um, and it was really more of a denial that that, uh, that I had before that. Rather, it was like an active denial. We do have a lack of wisdom in this society. We just do things because we're doing them and because we've been doing them and, and no one really knows why we're doing them. And it's, it's extremely random, it's extremely hedonistic. If we feel like it's going to be fun, we'll do it. Um, if it gives us a hangover the next day or, um, or a disease or whatever, then you know, that's just a consequence. But I mean, we're going to do whatever we want to do um, when we want to do it and that's what life's all about. That's okay for a while, um, but eventually um, it just seems shallow and empty. Um, and I kind of went along with that. Um, mo you know, I went along with that pretty well, actually. I was a bit of a hedonist myself um, until I saw um, people living another life that were um, that seemed to have some sort of solidity to it. And I found it was familiar with Muslims, but not with anybody else. I'd go to different Muslim countries while I was travelling a lot and. Uh, um, I would keep seeing the same thing, getting the same vibe, um, and I wouldn't get it with with other people. You know, other people just were similarly kind of free floating as we were, and mostly you know living in uh, very diverse ways. Um, you know, but sort of thinking that that was in itself some kind of cohesion, um, but really, you know, there really, really wasn't in the same. Uh, you know, comparative compared to. Um, the way Muslims seem to live in society, they have a real cohesion and you don't notice the difference until you've actually experienced uh, the way that they live. Um, and that, that just gave me reason to look at Islam seriously. And uh, the more I looked at it, um, the more I couldn't fault it. It was amazing, this friend of mine, he was a uh, best friend since we were like 10, uh, high school. Um, you know, he, he had lost his job and his flat and his girlfriend all in one day um, and uh, ended up coming and staying with me for three months before I became a Muslim and then he was there three months after I, I was Muslim, you know, which was great. You know, then he could see, he was my best friend for 20 years, he could see that you know, I was still the same person. I'm always interested when I hear um, Muslims being called to integrate because um, I wonder if that applies to me as well. And I'm, you know, I'm English, and you know, should should I be more integrated now that I'm a Muslim than I ever was? You know, I mean, it's quite ironic that um, that Muslims are accused of not being integrated. Um, really, they're the most integrated people in the world. They're, you know, you go to the mosque and you'll find people from everywhere mixing happily. You know, um, as brothers and sisters. You know, there's no um, there's no kind of barriers between people anymore once you're a Muslim with other Muslims anyway. And the, the barriers that other people put there, that's, that's their fault for putting them there, you know. Christianity is what has formed uh, much of our culture. Uh, Christianity is from a few miles away from Mecca, you know. Um, it's Middle Eastern religion, just like Islam is. Um, you know, and nowadays, uh, you know, people say uh, science has replaced religion. Well, uh, the scientific method was invented by Muslims, and they're still Muslims, you know. It's not something that is... Um, that is uh, inconsistent with being a Muslim to be a scientist. In fact, I've got a medical degree. Um, I've never found anything that can contradict Islam in science. Um, so, you know, from my point of view, being British and being Muslim are two completely consistent things.